Today is a very special celebration. Today marks the first day of our fall feasts. We're going to be celebrating Yom Teruah with some delicious food and, of course, a very special shofar blowing at the end. Hey everybody, welcome to the High Pass channel. We are so happy to have you in our humble kitchen. If you're new, my name is Rosa, this is Mercy, and we are a plant-based family of seven. And this is Isaiah. And this is Isaiah. So for those of you who are new, hi in Hebrew means life. And so uh, we are on a life path. We love everything to do with life. And so we want to incorporate that with all of our food and everything that we do. So just in case you didn't know, hi is not our last name. It is hi, which is um, life in Hebrew. Today is very, very special. And we're so excited to have you here because today we're going to be making a feast for our Feast of Trumpets today. Uh, it starts tonight, so we're going to prepare all of the foods that we're going to be making. I don't typically make all of these foods, but today is a special occasion, so I am going to be cooking up uh, a few different things, and I would love to take you along. So let's get chopping. I initially struggled with the menu. I wasn't sure what to make this year, but sometimes inspiration just strikes you when you least expect it. On the menu today, we are doing some stuffed bell peppers. We also have a sort of like a roasted cauliflower on a bed of delicious hummus sauce. And then um, we're gonna have a little bit of a side salad on the side as well. So let's chop all of the aromatics. I do want to get a tomato sauce going for our stuffed peppers. So I'm just gonna do some onions, some garlic, uh, and some tomatoes in a pot. Mercy is my little assistant today. She is very, very capable in the kitchen and I love when she is here to help me. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Like this. I, I just need it like, watch your finger. Uh, like that. The Feast of Trumpets is a biblical celebration that marks the beginning of a new year and the start of all of our fall holidays, or holy days, or our feasts as well. The Feast of Trumpets is also known as Yom Teruah in Hebrew, which is the day of shouting or blasting. We will usually blow our shofar, which is a trumpet made of a ram's horn, whenever we see the very first sliver of the moon. You will definitely see the kids and Trey blow their horns at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I know a lot of you will ask if we are Jewish. We are not Jewish, but we do believe in the whole Bible and we do observe all of the feast days in the Bible along with Shabbat or Sabbath every Saturday. Right here, I'm working on a very simple tomato sauce that will go on top or underneath our bell peppers. In a pot, I have some chopped Roma tomatoes, some onions, garlic, onion powder, some paprika. If I had some Italian seasoning, this would be a good time to use it as well. And we're gonna just cook this down until it is a little bit condensed before we blend it in a little bit. So I want to, okay, go like this. And then we're gonna take this out. And then we're going to just take this out. So we could stuff it. Let me see if this will fit into our Whatchamacallit? Tray. Put sauce in it. I have seen many, many stuffed bell pepper recipes adding things like quinoa and beans and rice and things like that. The only thing is, when I was planning this meal, I wanted to make sure that we are following the food combinations for Trey because he is a little bit stricter with his diet and we can't mix the proteins and the carbs together. I will explain that in a little bit, but for now, this is our plan and that's what we're doing. That's why I'm not using any rice or quinoa with this dish. I was really trying to find a glass baking dish big enough or small enough just to fit our bell peppers, enough where we can bake everything in the sauce, but all I could find was this large one. We are a large family, so all of our glassware and everything is rather large. I'm not going to waste any of these like pepper tops. I'm actually going to roast them as well. And we're going to put them in our uh, hummus sauce or like chickpea type sauce. I think it's going to be really, really delicious and roasted bell, bell peppers in it. And then it'll add some color as well. I think it's going to be perfect.
Alrighty, so for the stuffed peppers, usually, and I've seen a lot of recipes that have rice in it or quinoa um, and beans and things like that. Well, because we are focusing on food combinations for tray, meaning we eat foods that are properly combined for better digestion. For tray, for the food combinations, vegetables are your middlemen. The carbs and the proteins do not mix. So uh, for instance, like potatoes and beans, because potato is a starch, bean is a protein, they don't go together. And my husband, Trey, he's been suffering from an autoimmune issue and he is definitely recovering. So we have noticed that eating the proper food combinations really have helped him. So we're gonna continue to, to do that for him. So that's why I'm cooking the way that I am cooking. I'm not going to add any rice or quinoa or any carb to our stuffed pe uh, bell peppers. We're gonna make everything out of, today we're going for our dinner, we're focusing on proteins and vegetables as the combination. So back to the stuffed peppers, we have some cauliflower that is going to go in. I've also already cooked some chickpeas earlier today and we are going to make a sort of a mash that will go into all of our stuffed peppers. I'm also going to chop up some broccoli to add into our stuffed peppers as well. If you want some more information, go on to the video that I have linked in the description if you're interested in knowing what Trey has been suffering from and just how he is recovering from it, eating the food combinations and his PEMF treatment. We're gonna roast our vegetables in a hot oven. So we're just seasoning it with some onion powder, paprika, some ancho chili powder for some smokiness, and of course some salt and some oil. We have the oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit on convection. Convection is a setting where it rotates the, um, the heat a lot more, making the cook time a lot shorter. We are also using some cumin in here, I forgot to mention. Now the cumin really adds some earthiness to it and it's just so tasty. I'm using my hands to massage all of the seasonings, making sure all of the vegetables have seasonings on them. And then we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna roast it for about 25, 30 minutes or so. I have Grace mash up some of our chickpeas. These are already cooked chickpeas. So we're just mashing it up until it is nice and uh, little small little pieces so we can mix it with our vegetables. I also have Mercy start sauteing some onions and garlic along with some oil and some seasonings. This is gonna go into our chickpea mix as well, just to add that extra flavor in here. I'm gonna be making a sort of like a smoky little cauliflower nuggets, I would say. It's not really called nuggets, it's just, we're breaking up the cauliflower heads like this. We're gonna put it on a pan, we're gonna roast this up and we're gonna serve it on a delicious hummus type sauce, a chickpea sauce rather. And um, it's gonna be another side dish. I want this to be nice and smoky because I think that the flavors are going to pair really nicely with that hummus. It's going to be acidic, that hummus. I'm going to season it with some limes. It's going to be good. Today, I really wanted to focus on the timing of all of our dishes, making sure everything is done and ready to go before Trey gets home from work. I have definitely struggled in the past not being able to get everything ready on time and so today I definitely wanted to put that on my forefront, you know, making that my priority. I had Grace puree our tomato sauce so it's nice and ready to go and nice and smooth. We are now making our hummus sauce for the bottom of our cauliflower, our roasted smoky cauliflower. So I've got some cooked chickpeas here, I'm adding the juice of two limes I believe. And of course, we're gonna season that up with some salt, some cumin. You can put, of course, your garlic. I added two cloves of garlic in here as well. Some oil in here, paprika, onion powder. We're also gonna add some water just to be able to help it blend nice and smoothly. We started off with about two thirds a cup of water, but we definitely needed to add some more. I wanted the consistency of this hummus to be nice and spreadable, kind of like a hummus, but a little bit thinner. So we did end up adding a little bit more water.
We also did bring it down to scrape on the sides a little bit and just to combine any leftover little chickpea chunks that were not blended nice and smooth. On this roasting tray, I've got some cauliflower, some garlic, some cabbage, and we're gonna season that up with paprika, ancho powder, salt, and some oil. We're gonna roast this up in a hot oven. And while I do that, the first batch of vegetables are ready. This is gonna be for our stuffing for our bell peppers. Let's combine all these vegetables in our chickpea mix. So I've got the broccoli, onions, garlic all up in there. I'm gonna add everything that I can into our chickpea mix. Make sure we're seasoning it and tasting it for salt as well. You wanna make sure everything is mixed nicely so you have a bite of everything as you cut into that stuffed bell pepper. As you can see, this tray is quite large for our seven bell peppers, but we're using what we have. I'm gonna add a very thin layer of our sauce underneath all of our peppers. And then I'm going to have Mercy help me stuff the peppers. Oh, I also added some sauce inside of the peppers just to add that extra flavor. Once all of the bell peppers are stuffed with our chickpea vegetable mix, it is time to top it with some more of that delicious tomato sauce, and it's time to go into the oven to roast. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit on convection. We're gonna put it in for about 20, 25 minutes. And then for the last 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna turn it up and char the peppers. It is crunch time. It is almost time for Feast of Trumpets. So right now I am dishing up our smoky roasted cauliflower on our hummus sauce so this is what the sauce looked like it actually thickened up as it sat a little bit i could have maybe watered it down a little bit but i think this was actually a pretty nice consistency it's nice and rich and thick and it's spreadable it was perfect I'm gonna do an even layer on the bottom of this dish and then we're going to top it with our cauliflower all of our peppers as well I actually forgot to put the peppers in the hummus and um, blend it up but that's okay we're just going to serve it as is on top of our hummus I added a bit more of that sauce or hummus on the very tops of the vegetables and then we're going to decorate it and make it look pretty with our spring onions and a little squeeze of lime juice. Our roasted peppers have been charring for the last 10-15 minutes or so and they are done. They're nice and toasty on the tops and on the sides. I love the flavors of roasted bell peppers. We're going to try to do our best to serve it on our little nice platter here just to make it look a little bit pretty. They are definitely big peppers, but <laughs> I did my best. Thank you. 
The last thing we're gonna do is finish up our salad. I didn't want to do it earlier just so that we don't have a soggy salad. So this is just hummus that we've watered down, added a little bit more seasonings. The salad is made of romaine lettuce, some cherry tomatoes, and some cabbage that Mercy chopped nice and thin. Our feast is ready for everyone to enjoy. It actually turned out beautiful. I'm very, very happy with everything and how everything looked as well. I got my timing right. Trey just got home from work and everything was ready to go. It is time to go outside and watch for the first sliver of the moon so we can blow our shofars and celebrate the start of our Feast of Trumpets. Bless art thou, Yahuwah, our Elohim, master of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commands us to hear the sound of the shofar. So this is what we're gonna do this year, guys. So this year, we're gonna do a long single blast, okay? Then we're gonna do three short blasts. You remember that one? Yeah. The three short ones? Um. The one where you just go, boop, um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. You remember? Oh, yes, 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 I remember. Okay. And then we're going to do, which ones do you think next? You asking me? Anybody. The long one? No. The, the nine short blasts. So, boop, 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 boop. Or nine. Yep. And then the last one is the one long blast. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for spending Yom Teruah with us. We hope that you enjoyed spending time with us and we will see you on the next video. Bye everybody.